The emissions process was actually intentionally avoiding the recruitment of black students. In fact, a uh, large number of applicants that had come in from African American students were actually put aside and treated differently. So the groundwork was laid for members of the Black Organization of Students to take over Conklin Hall on the newer campus of Rutgers University. Forty years later, a commemoration was held. We felt we were jeopardizing our careers or our education and also, there was always the hint, based upon what had happened in 67, that we could be uh, violently uh, reacted to by the uh, governmental forces. Stand up with us now. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. All of you, stand up. If you want to be heard, stand up. If you take a look around this room, you'll see all around the periphery the flags of over 75 countries. This campus is now listed by U.S. News and World Report as the most diverse university campus in the country, in the United States. Uh, and so the distance from a time when it used to be a lily white campus to the point now where it's the most diverse campus in the country is an extraordinary distance that we've come. And I think those students at that time were the ones that gave this the push and we owe them a tremendous debt of gratitude. <laughs>